at some stage you're uh, you're going to model a job and then you're going to want to apply materials to it for the purpose of calculating the cutting list indeed that's the uh, fundamental reason why you know, you're using roof wizard in the first place before you can apply anything to any model you actually have to define the materials that you require this is often seen as a, a, an onerous task but it needn't be it's actually quite straightforward let's take the example of defining a metal panel go to setup metal panels and a whole bunch of questions appear in your dialog box the first thing the software wants to know is who the supplier is I might say metal metal depot now the profile of the panel well that's uh, most co com common is corrugated and the finish now this is a little tricky here um, the uh, the finish does things if you specify uh, painted colored or color spelt with a u or without a u the software uh, will then prompt the user for a color when you use it if you type anything else other than painted or colored such as uh, let's say it's going to be color mode. because it doesn't say color or colored or painted it will not ask you for a color and this is often an advantage at the quote stage perhaps the uh, the, the customer hasn't decided what the color will be but just be aware uh, there's other conventions used um, it, might, it might be gel or it might be um, gel volume uh, so just decide for yourself uh, what what you need it to tell you um, so that you can get the information that you need so I might decide it's going to be zinc so uh, the faster code oh by the way the finish if you do decide to have colors um, all the colors are defined under setup metal colors so uh, that's just another stage we'll talk about that shortly the fastener code well that relates to the fastener that will be used to fix this panel to the roof and uh, that assumes of course that you've also defined your fastness and you do that under setup fastness if you've defined your fastness the software then wants to know the association between the fastness and this panel per square meter or per meter of batten product code is the most critical component of this definition the product code is how all items in our software are associated the fastener is associated with the panel by virtue of the product code so this particular product code defines the metal panel and it's linked to this product code which defines the screw product codes should be brief so that it doesn't clog up your order form typically it would be the same product code as your supplier the software does generate order forms for your suppliers and it would be a whole lot smarter I think if you were to use the same product code convention as your supplier so that the same product code appears on his order form product codes should not include spaces it should not include special characters so anything if you have to hit shift uh, or and, uh, anything above the numerals on your keyboard hashes slashes dollar signs percent signs asterisks and so on um, do not use those uh, as the software is uh, likely to use those as uh, special commands and will mess up your your definition the most important component of this definition in fact after the product code is the cover width this defines the width of the profile now I'm working in millimeters uh, as you know the software can be in millimeters or feet and inches so I'm in millimeters dividing a corrugated profile and the cover width is 762 millimeters that's the exposure of the panel the panel might be wider than that but that's the width of it on the roof when it's matched up with a whole bunch of other panels the gauge of the panel is uh, basically the base metal thickness it's not used for anything other than to provide information to the uh, people placing the order 
the cost is well whatever the cost is on a per square meter basis or per square foot or per linear meter or per linear foot minimum and maximum order length these are quite important the uh, the minimum order length determines the way that the software handles short lengths and uh, if you enable the, um, the the allowances to take account of uh, short lengths uh, that is to say take notice of the minimum order uh, it will combine short lengths into one long length based on whatever you define here if you're not fussed about minimum length set it to zero maximum order length that basically determines the maximum length of the sheet no no kidding um, the typically that's the longest panel you can fit on the truck that you're transporting if it turns out that you're roll forming on site well in fact the length of the panel is somewhat irrelevant you'll roll it straight off the machine and stick it straight on the roof in that case set the maximum order length to zero and whatever length you need 75 meters or whatever you will get 75 meters so once you've defined the panel oh allowances um, typically the allowances are used to set and the most common is overhang into the gutter if you've defined your uh, allowances um, you do that under uh, cover allowances you save away a set of allowances for example I might have allowance file set corrugated 762 might define 50 millimeters into the gutter and uh, a certain gap at the uh, ridges hips and valleys if you've defined that already select it if you haven't just leave it at default and the software will use the default whatever that happens to be when you get to use this profile when you're adding a profile to a system to the system uh, use it's a brand new profile that you've never used before it will know if we don't use the right if we don't use the right uh, product code so let's use a unique product code that I haven't used before uh, and this will be base metal thickness of 58 and so it's corrugated 0.58 base metal thickness 762 cover and its profile uh, reference is C36 I hit add so that's now been added to our database it gets appended to the bottom of the list all this information is saved into a, a text file called sheeting.csv the sheeting.csv file being a text file can be edited in Microsoft Excel if you're an expert with Microsoft Excel you can now continue to define all your other profiles in Excel if you're not proficient in Excel don't go there the chances are you'll mess it up and your data files will cease to work the safest way by uh, any measure is to simply define the profiles using this dialog box it takes care of business if I was to change any specification on this and the most obvious is the cost the cost goes up they never go down so we change the cost to $18.50 if it's a change that I've made I just hit update so it's simply changed that reference on this particular uh, definition with uh, metal panels you can also define accessories and those accessories might be uh, panel clips although on a corrugator doesn't have panel clips but let's say it did uh, product code might be a PC123 and the finish is a gel clip and there's one in a box and the cost of the box is 56 cents and there's one supplied uh, spaced along the panel and or at an intersection with battens or whatever so if I'm saying I want one every intersection with every baton if the baton spacing was 900 I would get a clip every 900 now this particular accessory is a material accessory I might have um, a special install consideration whatever that was and it's an SI2 and the particular cost of this is this process whatever it is of cutting or fixing or gluing or something and this could be uh, per panel and it's a labor item and now I have a labor accessory that's associated with this profile setting all this up sounds tedious but you only do it once and then after that it's a simple maintenance task 
So um, the most difficult thing with setting up, in fact, is having all this information readily at hand. Defining our materials is not difficult. It just takes a bit of time and you have to have the information readily available. One other small thing, so uh, you can say that we've covered it. We also supply uh, the, the, uh, this uh, materials in stock lengths. Some markets, especially Africa, and uh, sometimes in South America, the lengths are supplied as stock lengths. So you might have stock lengths of, say, um, 2700, 3300, 36, 39, and so on. Um, each of those is a separate product uh, with a separate cost. The software will automatically select, if you tell it to, um, select the appropriate length for each job based on available stock lengths. The available stock lengths are set in this table. Okay, well that's about it for setting up your metal panels. If you have any questions, uh, just drop us a line um, or send us a, a, uh, an email to uh, the support centre, support at applicad.com, and uh, we'll get back to you with a, an answer to your question as promptly as we can. Thank you.